Hey everyone, it's me Zoe, your host for K-Pop Cravings on 94.3 Radio 1 and we're back with another really cool video. Today I'm gonna be taking you through some Korean foods that I discovered through my favorite K-drama. Let's get straight into it and I hope you guys try these foods out as well. First up, we all know I love It's Okay To Not Be Okay. That's like my favorite K-drama in the world. So of course I'm gonna start with that. This K-drama actually showed me this amazing food dish which I have not tried yet but it looks so good. It's called Jampong. In the specific scene that I watched that made me be like, ah, oh, I wanna try this. It's basically the main character, Moon Gang Tae, takes his autistic brother who has a lot of PTSD, Moon Sang Tae, kind of back in time, they go to a restaurant and they have one of his favorite meals, which is Jampong. It's basically this Chinese style Korean spicy noodle soup and it's super red so you know that's very hot and spicy it has seafood or pork and a whole bunch of other you know ingredients like garlic mussels just basically a bowl filled with a lot of delicious things and a lot of spice but honestly this is one thing i haven't tried yet and i'm dying to try it but i don't want to try it here because i'm not sure you know if it's going to be authentic or not so i'm saving it for when i go to korea Number two is something that I had heard of before but I will say that my love for this food really started after this Korean drama. It's called Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Now it's quite recent, this K-drama. It's about an autistic woman who is striving to become a lawyer and no one believes that she can due to, you know, the troubles that she faces. But she is extraordinary and she manages to do it. And her one meal that she eats all the time is kimbap. Now usually I'm someone who likes spicy food, I like a lot of flavors, so I don't know why I'm obsessed with kimbap. But it's basically, in other words, like Korean style sushi. Now it is seaweed, basically wrapping a roll of rice with a bunch of vegetables. It could be yellow pickled radish, it could be cucumber, it could be meats like chicken prawn. And honestly, it doesn't have too much flavor, but something about it is so like soothing. It's so like home cooked meal. And to be honest, kimbap is like historically and culturally one of like the most important like home soul food in Korea. Soul food, see what I did there. But yeah, so kimbap is definitely one of them, especially after Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Next up on the list is something as basic as fried chicken, but what it's paired with really makes the difference. If you guys have seen Crash Landing on You, that show literally blew up. It became super viral and I remember like a whole wave of people started to watch K-dramas after that show and one like amazing meal that they keep bringing up and keep talking about is something so simple. It's fried Korean style chicken with beer. And apparently that's supposed to be like the best combination ever. We've eaten fried chicken but fried Korean chicken is something else. And beer together is supposed to be like a very exciting, fun um, meal that people kind of save up to buy because meat is a little bit more expensive. And another show actually did bring up fried chicken again. That's why I brought it here today because it's clearly important in Korea which is weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Chu where her father runs this fried chicken shop and everyone loves fried chicken they literally do this on the weekends so fried chicken and beer is super important as well and that's definitely on my list when I go to Korea as well last but not least this is just a little little blip that I wanted to add in it's just I'm just gonna talk about it a little bit but it was wholesome one of my first K-dramas ever was Itaewon class you guys know I love Park Seo Jin he's my favorite actor in the Korean world and this show kind of is amazing number one in general about the story but when it comes to food it's about a restaurant and creating this like dynasty or like business plan for this little restaurant shop or idea and basically I don't want to spoil so if you haven't watched it there is a slight spoiler alert so maybe you can close your ears for this one but in the end, there's this huge war between two companies who are trying to be like the only, you know, restaurant chain there. And basically, the evil man or the other company's head finally comes to try the food of this new Park Jin's restaurant. 
and basically he's served something so simple. The meal is stir fried pork with bean sprouts and soft tofu stew and this was supposed to be like a nostalgic meal for the main evil guy as well. I don't know why Koreans do this with nostalgia but it's such a simple dish and it made a world of a difference and it changed the face of this K-drama and honestly I don't even like tofu but I kind of want to try it. We love stir fried pork and bean sprouts I love too but I would try that soft tofu stew because of how he responded to how yummy it was. That's all for today you guys. If you've tried any of these, let me know in the comments below if you like this video idea because I think that was kind of cute and kind of fun and very interesting. Maybe I'll do a part two because I've watched a ton of K-dramas and I have a lot to talk about. See you in the next video and don't forget to tune in to K-pop Cravings every Sunday at 6pm on 94.3 Radio 1. Bye! One World, your station.